Oh, I think these are good eating signs here. Look at the colors in that. That's the kind of fish you get. Oh. You gotta catch that fish, right? That's what you want right there, buddy. What a way to start her, bud. I'll tell you what. We are out here crappie fishing with our good friend Scotty Holmes from Kawartha Lakes. Hi and welcome to the show. I'm Leo Stockle. And I'm Rod James. And our good friend Scotty Holmes over there to the right is going to be taking us around here today for some huge, huge crappie. Stick around, you're not going to miss it. Wow, what a start. Love it. Look at that. Fish TV in high definition. Brought to you in part by Mercury, number one on the water. And Garmin, follow the leader. With your hosts, Leo Stackos and Ron James. You got one? There you go, buddy. Nice. There you go. Nice. Sitting right inside those pads. Just jumped it, eh? You gotta get a little bit bigger than that, though, fella. I'm gonna lower the motor gun. Just a bit. All right, put that guy back. It's amazing what these things are doing sitting in this stuff, eh, Ron? A nice little crapola, buddy. Right on the edge of those pads. The thing is, you can move along here and you get schools of fish that stay together. Then you get the bigger ones. Oh, you want to kiss that one? No, nah, I'm okay, but I'll touch it though. <laughs> okay, touch it. <laughs> now, one, oh. thing, one thing that Scotty did say was, you know, you move around, you move around, then all of a sudden you get into a school of big ones. You know, guys, it's real important, not just that he's a friend of ours, but it's real important. He's not to, a friend of ours. To pick the right guy. <laughs> yeah, really. We don't get a lot of fish, he's not a friend of ours. <laughs> But experience is key. I mean, there's a lot of guides out there, and there's a lot of people that make claims that they can put you on fish, but the proof is in the pudding. Right. And you know, this is actually a test for Scotty here, because you know, <laughs> he's actually guiding us here today. Oh. So we'll have to see what, uh, how, how the day goes. That thing popped my float. There's a crapola. Yep. There's a slab, buddy. That's what we're looking for right there. Yeah, that'll work. Nice. Beautiful. He's fighting like he, he thinks he he's too. a large mouth. But you have to set the hook quicker. Get out of here. <laughs> like, you made my cast go on an angle. Huh? I don't know. Oh. Why do I have to set the hook quicker? I don't know, but look at this. Oh! What is going on with this mess here? There he goes. You get it? <clears throat> oh. What the? <laughs> I am getting, like, beat up today, man. I'm telling you, I don't know what is going on. Oh, sorry, but... But this deck, as big as deck as this, this, this uh, Lund has here on there, I can't believe there's still not enough room. <laughs> oh, that's oh, a that's good a one nice right one here. Too. That is, he's rip and drag. Wait, I'm going to see if I can get another one out of there. Oh, 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 oh. That's on ya. It's oh, a rock mass. Oh. I wonder if it's fighting like a large mouse. Whoa. That is a big large mouse. Or a big uh, <laughs> rock bass. Uh, watch this one. I thought it was a big crappie. Well, There's going to be a big crappie here in a second. I don't know if we move right up on him, but... Oh, yeah, there you go. There's a crappie right there, buddy. Yep. Oh. Where? I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. You know what the bad thing is? We don't have the power pole hooked up yet. No. They're being installed next week, and it would have been a perfect time. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> stop us right here on this spot. I believe there's probably about 30 or 40 crappie just sitting here waiting for my jig to come down. Oh, Ooh, pop! I see that. Not gonna go very far from this area. That's not a bad one either. Nice. 
Drop on ya. Watch this. I'm gonna get about 40 of them. Look at yeah. it. Is a <laughs> get out of my cover. That's a better one. This is the way to do it, folks. Oh, he just ate it. Look at your quick hook tuck. About three hours late. Don't go back. You know what? It's, it's action after action, fish after fish. They're in school today. Look at this one here, bud. Well, that's a better one. But th this is what you want to be doing. Something that keeps the kids occupied, fish after fish. You get some beautiful fish just like that. They're just sitting in these little pads. It's amazing. I love it when he's all tangled up and messed up. Yeah, I love it too. I get all the boat to myself, and now look at just as I say that, I messed up myself. <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, he come up for my float. <laughs> Is that what he did? He hit that your float was a first? little one. No, the, another one that was a bigger one that come up, rolled on my float, and then took off, and then this little guy come and grabbed it. Sure, on. Yeah. Oh, quiet. You know, I, what's he looking at? I'm thinking to myself. Oh, big bluegill. Looking back, looking back. Oh. Makes a lot of noise, a lot of splashing. <laughs> they're casting right in those. Oh yeah, right in the pads. That's where they're sitting. Mm -hmm. Need one. Need like 12, 14 inches, but they're coming. Well, what are you gonna do? Oh, you got them that time. Well, that's a better one, Scotty. Holy. That's what we're looking for right there. I'm looking for them in the end of my rod, not yours. A lot of fun, man. A lot of fun. All right. Almost back in action there, buddy. Look at that. Come on, buddy. You really miss some little guy? <laughs> Ronnie just dropped this on me, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Ron. That's all right. Nothing, nothing like getting me back, Nick. <laughs> Fortunately, that one fell off right on the cameraman's lap. You, you, you get to go home now. Thank you. <laughs> gotcha, Nick. <dude>. Gotcha. <laughs> I got him right off that brute. I thought you actually had a, oh, that's a, a rock one. bass or a bass or something. Oh, that's a good one there. Look at that. Oh, hook set. Perfect. Something small is popping like crazy over here. Nice. That's a good one. Nice one. This is a better one, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I lost him. I didn't see anything. There he is. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yes, again. oh. oh. oh, oh, oh. That's a better one, bud. Look at that slab. They're moving under, they're tucking themselves under the structure now. Yeah, the bigger ones are. Look at that. I'm gonna keep us off it a bit then. I think maybe we should throw an anchor. You think so? Look at the tail, look at, you can tell the, something either hit that, look at, look at Lil. Oh wow. Look at that, something hit that. Yeah, something's been chewing down nothing for Musky a while. or walleye. That's a good one there. 12, 13 inch are coming out of here right now. Look at, he's after my float, look at. There, he's gonna hit it. Oh, I spooked him. I spooked him. He come up and looked at my float. Oh, see that one, take that. Mm -hmm. Rifle. He's gonna need to throw him in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's Oh, there you go. Look at that. Yeah, I wonder about one. Mm. Better than mine. He's milking. Is he really? Yep. Got a crap on you. He wasn't getting off that side. Yeah. No. no. What is that? A little sunfish. Another sunfish. All right. Now that there is a perfect size perch for these walleye that are going to be feeding here. Walleye season is going to be opening up real soon, and I'll tell you what, that is going to be their main forage right there. Real soon? Say in about eight hours. You know what, bud? Whoever catches the biggest one, okay, gets to, oh, oh, oh. gets to sit back and watch the other guy clean them <laughs> and cook them and, oh, cook them, clean them, 
and clean up afterwards. That's a good one there, too. Oh! Well, might as well put that one on the live well. Film this mess. Did get, look at this. Film this mess. Seriously. What is going on Okay, Come on, man. What are you doing? No, I know. Here's what I'm doing. Watch this. What? What? Hold on. Let me, let me see if we can get it out. Is we're, look at We're, we're in the camera. Look at that. Look at that. Here. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. What are you doing? That is not coming. That has got more hair on there than my head. Give me that thing. Look at You get the bite. <laughs> what? Oh, nice. While you're down and out, I'm going over. See those roots over there? I'm not quite sure what's going on here with this, though, why it won't even reel in. Well, probably because you got to wrap it around the camera. <laughs> you got to wrap it around the camera. You got to wrap it around the reel. Now we got her. Here we got her. Hold on. We're getting there. Portions of Fish TV are sponsored in part by Toyota Truck, Never Quit, and Coffee Time, where coffee time is any time. Oh, I guess. Try, trying to locate them around. That's what most people don't realize with guiding. <laughs> yeah. That uh, sometimes for a day of guiding, it could be 10 days of pre-fishing to get onto the fish. And um, yeah, a lot exactly. of people don't realize there's a lot of homework you got to do beforehand. Well, you know what? It's funny because I was I I live on the lake just like you do, and I've been out here uh, four days last week, and I caught a lot of small ones, but I didn't find a school like this. I don't know, like what made you come in this shallow? I would have never thought. Most of this time of year, aren't they back in the sloughs, like in the little cuts and narrows and that? They normally are. Um, Right now the pads come up real fast and they're using the pads as covers and as little ambush points to, for the minnows that are coming through. Well, this is the first time, I'll bet you it's Leo's first time fishing pads for, for uh, crappie, eh bud? Never. I've never, I've actually <laughs> never cut. <laughs> when you first said we were going for pads, I said, I don't understand why. Uh, about three years ago I fluked onto a bunch in the pads and then ever since then I'm always make sure I check the pads, the sprouts. Yeah. You know, coming up and they seem to hold, especially in an area of bay like this, it doesn't have a lot of thick weed cover that's to the surface. And they'll use it as their cover. Now you guide you guide where? You guide not just here on Scoo Guide. No, all the Quarthas. Um, up north, Bay Quinney. Um usually you go wherever. as far as the Bay Quinney? Yeah. Walleye? Bass and walleye. And crappies obviously. Yeah, not too much crappie. Normally, most of the crappie fishing is around the Quarthas. Well, you, guess what? You're going to be busy now. <laughs> <I'll tell you. laughs> no, I can't believe it. Like, I, again, I, we, I was out here for three, four days, and I couldn't find fish like this. It's unreal. Well, apparently, Scott's still finding them there. I know. <laughs> it's one after another. Now, how long have you been with Rapala? Um, about six years now. Yeah? You got a bunch of guys, good guys on your pro staff? Excellent guys. We got a really top of the line pro staff. Uh, everybody's really professional and uh, they work hard for us. You know what? They got good products. Do you think we're good guys, Scotty? Well, sometimes. It depends. <laughs> right now, no. <laughs> wow, well, I can't believe this fish. This is unbelievable. I, you know what? How many have we caught, Leo? Oh, we, we, we probably caught at least. From what we and when we didn't show on film, we probably caught at least 200 crappie today. Yeah, I would say, and not not today. We got here at what time? Yeah, that's true too. We actually, actually, I, I said that would yeah. tell a funny story. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to tell you folks what happened here. Mm -hmm. I did some, I did a, a, some studio work yesterday with our cameraman Nick Leach, and oh. Nick forgot me to read one line. Or, let me, let me oh, he's blaming he's blaming it on he's blaming it on I'm you. I'm not going to blame myself. <laughs> yeah. It's your fault. So I forgot to read one line. So I had to drive <laughs> all the way back to Toronto to Nick's studio there to do one more 13 second read. And I was five minutes away from the studio and Ron calls me up and says, Scotty just called, the crappie are going crazy, get your butt back here. <laughs> so I had to drive two hours back again with Nick in tow. And we got here around three o'clock. It's now just after six. We got well over 200 crappie. Yeah, I think we got on the water about that time. Yeah, and we were just, Scotty calls me this morning at the office and I was just going through some 
shows. Let's go. When they're going, you go. Okay guys, let's take a minute of the action and show you exactly what we're using today. I'll tell you what, there's a couple of key things that you need out here when you're crappy fishing. One is fluorocarbon line. We're using four pound suffix fluorocarbon, ideal for clear water conditions. Another, I, you can't beat them, Trigger X baits. These baits are unbelievable, they're biodegradable, full of scent, and they're packaged in scent. The thing is, keep them in the scent, keep them nice and fresh, they stay great. Another thing is, a float. Crappies feed up. You need to leave your bait high above the water column and you'll catch a lot of fish. We've got a bobber stopper right here. We've got about a six to an eight inch, maybe even a 12 inch lead at some times. A little 16th to an eighth of an ounce jig head. Again, with the Trigger X baits, you can't beat them. You get out here and try this on any of the Kawartha Lakes, you're gonna catch a lot of fish like we are right now. So let's get back to that fish TV action. Oh, that's a better one right there, look at that. You know, block that one is, bud. Yeah, you know why? Because he said he was sitting right in those he was, pads. It, yeah, he was buried in the pads. See if I can get this guy to just whirl yeah. it. It's a good one. Here, see it? He flipped my, my barber sideways because I was too deep. Yeah, you gotta go really shallow. Look at that. Oh, I missed him. That's your one. Yeah. Get up. Get up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good one there, bud. That's what you're looking for, yes. bud. Yes. Look, Look at that, that one. He's a meaty one, that one. <laughs> Look at that one, bud. Look at that. There we go. Look at that. That's the darkest one that we've Yeah, that's there. a good one right there. Yeah. Wow, he took it down like a rifle. Oh, Look at how black this one is, bud. He is too. Look at how dark the fins are on this fish. They're just sitting in there. Look at that. Shallow. I got a good one. I got a really good one here. Yep. Oh, that's another good one, yeah? Yep. Look at how, where do you see how shallow my float is? Look at that one. <laughs> that's a good one there, too. Did you say to yourself, Ron, you should shorten the float? I did. Yeah. And there he goes. It's a circus. Right now, it's just a circus flurry of action. Another black one. Another block. Look at the underbelly on this fish. This one's been sitting in there Hold a on, long what's an time. Underbelly. Look, right here, under his belly. Oh, an under, oh, under. Right here, he's got his spawning colors on. A little male. I'll let you go and finish your little duties there, buddy. Oh, did you see him take that down? He just dummied it. They're all over this pad. Look at this, right there. I just dropped it, lost one, dropped it, came back. <laughs> <laughs> You can't beat this, man. Not a boat around, just our guide over there. That is, like I was mentioning earlier, the sign of a good guide. Look at this. Another. They're all over the place. Right? Oh, yeah, they are. That's a better one, too. Oh, he's dark, yeah. Yeah. That's a beauty there. It's a nice one right there. Sweet. <laughs> Did you see that? I don't think you can kill this area. He popped that thing up so fast. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> One after another, after another, after another. After another? And after another. Ow. Ow. Time for me to put a new trigger action on. Okay, you gotta watch. I'm gonna show you something. Now on these crappy, right here, obviously this fin right here 
right up in here is very sharp. Same as up here, very sharp. Now they also have these two, these two fins right here, here and here. These can really hurt you. <laughs> so the best way to do it is try to lip these fish because they've got, you know, a big enough mouth where you can lip them, even the small ones like this. But when you go to grab it, again, start from the head and work your way down. Like, if you want to grab it this way, you slide your hand down. Don't go and just grab it like this because these two spikes here and this one and this one will get you and it will hurt. You're talking from experience, Ron? I am. <laughs> oh, that's a better one too. Yeah. I will, I will. I got two burgers. I got burgers on both sides of me here. I'd be like, that one, folks. <laughs> oh, on the other side of this crappy, oh. buddy. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh there it is. I think that fits the danger. That's nice. I think it fits the danger. Wow. There you go. As soon as you throw it. <laughs> Oh, with the nice one too. Look at it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. Look at that chunky one there. I think Ron's doing the dishes. <laughs> I think Ronnie's doing the dishes, buddy. Uh, yeah, but the game's not over. I love crappy. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if you're right. I'm gonna throw a little bit further down. You might as well just toss it right out in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane how many fish are here right now. He's definitely getting him forward, that's for sure. <laughs> and another good one. Is oh! It? <laughs> well, they're all over the area. Let me get me out of this mess. <laughs> get me out of this. It's going to take quite a while. I'm going to bump up. I'm going to tell you what, Scotty. Up until now, you get a fantastic job, Scotty. I got to tell you guys, you got to get out here with Scotty Holmes, Kawartha Lake Guiding Service. Oh. I really know this stuff. Scotty, you did a fantastic job. Thank you so okay. much. Scotty. Thanks for having me. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Ron. Tell you what, by the time we get this done, we're going to get a few more fish. Until next week, guys, I'm Leo Stocko. I'm Ron James. We'll see you next time on Fish TV. I'm ready to go. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> you guys keep going. I'm fishing. <laughs>